Um, would you tell us how did you how did you come to disc golf? So you know you were you were studying other things, you had other passions in your life, and yet here you are on the disc golf pro tour. How did that come to be? Um, so I played ultimate frisbee in high school. Wanted to play in college. I heard that there was like an actual competitive ultimate league. So I decided to look for one. We didn't have one at my school at Southern Miss, so I started one with a whole bunch of men that I played pickup with. And we traveled around to tournaments, and I had a tendency to put a little too much uh, heat on my forehands. And the guys on my team decided, hey, why don't we teach you how to play disc golf? And so I would go out, they'd give me discs to lose all the time. <laughs> and I learned how to play there. Took a break as I, got, uh, as I graduated with my degree, and then eventually just kind of found it after I got laid off from my first real job. And started making money doing it and decided, hey, why not? Then I met Paige Fierce. We went on tour together. Can't get laid off from disc golf. <laughs> no, my um, first real job. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess, I guess you can be asked to leave. That's yeah. about it. Um, so uh, as a kid, were, were you more inclined to sports? Were you more inclined to aquatic things? What, you know, kind of what was your passion before you ever came across disc golf? Um, I, my parents, we had a boat, so we went, we went boating every weekend, but my parents were also my coaches on my softball team, my sister soccer team. Um, so I, I played a lot of sports and did a lot of outdoor stuff. Um, our idea of vacation was uh, going camping or going, you know, snorkeling. So on the weekends we did that and then in high school, middle school and high school, my parents told me if I didn't play three sports, you know, a sport in every season, then I had to get a job. So I was gonna be an athlete <laughs> as long as it took me to not get a job. <laughs> How many kids would beg for that? You play sports or you're gonna to have to work? Yeah, um, I, I think it was a pretty good gig. I'm glad my parents did it because, um, I mean, I enjoyed it. I played softball, volleyball, and soccer slash basketball. I wanted to play basketball, but I was no good at basketball. <laughs> <laughs> no good. Maybe more so than anybody else that I see on tour, you seem to enjoy the, the travel life. You enjoy the locations that you're at. Uh, maybe more than anybody else I've seen. So what, what is it about about traveling that uh, that, that really kind of sparks your interest? Um, I, I never really did a whole lot of it growing up. Uh, like I said, my parents' idea of a vacation was um, going, we went camping in Georgia. I was from, I'm from Florida, where we'd go snorkeling, you know, two hours away in Dustin. So we didn't, I didn't do a lot of traveling. I didn't see a lot of the country. After I got laid off from my first job, when I started playing disc golf, um, I went on a trip out west for my first time for a month and I realized that the desert was out there and the west coast California Oregon all this stuff that I didn't even really know existed and once I got a taste of new environments you know it's so pleasing to the eye I kind of couldn't stop and I like to take pictures so um, and hike so I wanted to do more and disc golf you know I get to play on the weekends and then on the weekdays go hiking go take pictures go bird watching so with that time off from disc golf, you had a time to do uh, kind of the other stuff that you love to do. So now that that fire has kind of gotten rekindled within you and yet disc golf is now back, are you having trouble balancing that? Are you are you wishing you were doing one versus the other? Or you... I mean, before, so I, I traveled, when I started traveling playing disc golf, I did love the sport, but you know, it's, you hear touring pros say it all, all the time, you get kind of burnt out. Um, because you play, I played 30 plus events a, a year for two years. Um, so I was, I'm not going to say I was ready to not be doing it, but it was kind of a needed break. After about a month of that needed break, I was checking live scoring. I was wishing I was out there. I was feeling like I was missing out. You know, I wanted to be playing. I wanted to be competing. And I didn't realize there was kind of that fire in me that does need to be competing. So, um, so it, it kind of gave me a drive to work hard during my rehab so that I could come back out this year and make it work. Um, I did have some nice time off. I got to do a lot of reading because I couldn't do really, I couldn't fish, I couldn't surf, I couldn't do anything with my wrist. So I did some reading, I did some quilting, I did, you know, just like all my old lady <laughs> hobbies. But, um, but it, I was ready to, to get back out on the road and, you know, play. Whenever your career, um, whenever your career comes to an end, what, uh, what, what do you look to be doing? What do you hope to be doing, you know, 10 years from now or 20 years from now, however long, however long that takes, or five years from now if you decide to move on? What, uh, where do your passions lie as far as maybe a vocation outside of disc golf? Um, so while I was rehabbing, I kind of, it was one of those injuries, they called it, my doctor called it an enigma, which was, you know, great. <laughs> but um, so I kind of started considering what, what I would be doing if I wasn't playing disc golf because I thought it was one of those injuries that was never going to heal. Um, I, I would definitely, I've always wanted to go back to school. I always wanted to be a professor. Um, I, like to, I would like to teach undergrads uh, any sort of science. Before I started playing disc golf immediately, I was working to get my science diver certification. I got it, got certified um, probably two months before I left. 
um, and I was going to get my master diver and hopefully work as a research diver somewhere probably in South Florida or the Caribbean. I was trying to learn Spanish. So I might go da back down that route. I really enjoy scuba diving. Um, I kind of had set myself up where the opportunities were sort of going to be varied. Um, I can get a job doing any sort of like research in the field. I think that would be the best option right now, but I'm not quite ready to go there yet. So either school or research, I don't know. Can you say I am a research diver in Spanish? <laughs> no, I was starting to learn <laughs> Spanish. I can say almost nothing because I haven't visited in the three years I've been Yo learning. soy scuba diver. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, what, what do you hope to do over the next five years? Are, are you are you wanting to go towards that, start working towards um, those certifications and those jobs? Are you wanting to really grind and disc golf and see if you can take down your travel companion? Or like what, you know, where does your, uh, you know, when you're lying in your bed at night, kind of dreaming about what's gonna happen over the next couple of years, where do, where do your thoughts go? Well, I always, ever since I graduated, I always, and started traveling a little bit, I always kind of saw myself doing a, a I don't want to say alternate lifestyle, but I just I don't know if I would be really settled doing um, a nine to five. I know I could make it work, but I have a little fire in me that kind of needs to be moving all the time. So, you know, thinking about settling down and going back to school, you know, and going to like a seven year grad program or going to like a daily job kind of makes me feel a little bit icky. I know I would enjoy it. I know I could make it work because I like to learn so much, but um, I think my dream is more just uh, making your the way that you make money is something you enjoy. Um, and I enjoy disc golf immensely. I don't know if I would say that's my number one dream because my dream was to be a marine biologist um, since I was five. But it's, you know, your dreams change as you change, as you get older. And, um, and I think right now, I really, really, really love what I'm doing. I love the community. I love seeing the sport grow. So I want to um, kind of keep that with that right now.